Tonight I look at some fish, a man sits in a train, and a helicopter throws some fireworks. So, with the Annihilation map pack out for Xbox and soon to be released for PlayStation 3, let's take a glimpse back to one of the older maps and help us get more acquainted with it. This is Zoo. On first glance you'll probably notice the tall building structures overlooking the large arena-like open areas, and it is in that aspect that the map feels a lot like WMD. The large buildings attract the usual type of player, the monorail is used a lot like the Bidon Bridge, and the winding outer edge paths in the large structures render air support equally as ineffective. As far as maps go though, they could have done a lot worse. I mean, despite the bland colour palette which is used on this map, and along with a lot of the other maps in Call of Duty, the map itself does have a number of really scenic and quite interesting and even pretty locations within it. And it appears that I'm not the only one who thinks so, as camping can be a very big problem in this map. Here are a few locations and very easy ways to take care of them. Like here for instance, this can be very common in games of demolition and domination. But if you run round the back of this line and pop a grenade over the main here, you'll get whoever's on the top of that building with simple ease. Secondly we have behind this little desk in the central middle building. Now obviously you can very easily just pop a grenade through this window and make sure you take anyone out there making sure you don't throw it too far as the desk will protect them from it. Alternatively you can climb up through this window here and sneak in and try and take them out like that. And lastly you'll find people pitched up in these monorail carriages and to get these guys out all you have to do is simply just shoot through the floor there. Even if they're around the back of the carriage you'll more likely get them with a headshot. Alternatively, if you see someone on the opposite side, shooting through this grate can be a very effective way to get them. At the end of the day, the way a person plays a map is directly affected to how comfortable they feel in it. The best thing you can do to try and improve your chances in a certain map is just to play it more and more, even if it's just in a combat training or a private match. That way you'll find the comfort zones and the high traffic areas, and you'll just be more experienced and be able to play it better.